The Duchess of Sussex has teased a first look at her new business venture on social media, sharing images of a jar of strawberry jam. Well, joining us is royal commentator Cara Kennedy. Cara, thank you for joining us on, on Power Hour. Just what we've been waiting for, strawberry jam. How's it being received? Um, yeah, well, finally, she's officially started the PR for the long-awaited brand, American Riviera Orchid, the most ridiculously named brand, um, which she launched last month. And we've seen a few friends of hers posting pictures of a branded jar of strawberry jam, which is, like you said, what the world needs. Um, when you go to the website, you have to sign up for a wait list, so it isn't available yet. But... Um, Obviously, it's received in, in the same way that, that everything that Megan launches is received. Um, a mixture of huge support from the pro Megan parade and then just absolute eye rolls from everybody else. Um, we knew that a lot of the stuff that was going to be associated with the lifestyle brand were food related as it goes with the theme of her upcoming Netflix show which is now in the early stages of production um, and it will focus on cooking and gardening. So we'll see what comes of that. It's definitely pretty different to her previous Netflix endeavours. Yeah, it will be interesting to see. If she's teasing a strawberry jam, you just wonder what's going to be next and if it's really working. <laughs> I'm surprised by the marketing strategy here. But look, if there's a wait list and there are people signing up, I am certainly not one of them. Let's talk about Prince William because he will undertake his first royal engagement since his wife's cancer diagnosis last month. On Friday, he'll be visiting Surrey and West London to highlight environment and youth organisations in the area. And, of course, the Prince of Wales has spent the past three and a half weeks with his wife, Princess Catherine, and their three children. I suppose this is welcome news to see that Prince William will be out and about and re-engaging in those royal duties. Yeah, it definitely will be. Um, he's visiting a food re redistribution charity on Thursday, and that's good. It tells the country that all is well. You don't have to worry about us after... Um, I can't believe it was only three and a half weeks ago. It feels like so much longer. It's been so, such a big catastrophic shift in the UK since um, Catherine mm. announced her cancer diagnosis. We haven't really had any updates or details about her health since. Um, I think it's safe to say that the announcement was more to keep the conspiracy theorists at bay than it was something that they actually wanted to share. I'm sure that they would have kept it more private if they could. But yeah, William's back and that's good. Um, seems as the royal family has been quite slim right now because of illnesses and other issues that have been going on. So um, I'm sure the rest of the family will welcome him back. Is there any indication as to when Princess Catherine will, will return to royal duties? I don't think so. I mean, I think that the kind of big dramatic video um, announcement was to say to people, look, I'm if I'm not seen right now, if I'm not um, in the public eye, this is why, because yeah. there was so much questioning and so much chaos when she was cancelling with engagements that I think that that was just to say, look, I'm going to announce when I'm ready. And we Let's haven't talk... heard when that will be yet. Yeah, and um, understandably so, of course, the world wants her to get better and that is the most important thing and we're happy to wait as long as we can until she's in full health and back out uh, with engaging in those public engagements.